begin our first the first discussion. So we're going to be having a really really cool like com converse converse com 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 conversation with Kelly Banning Banningham, uh, founder of the Conscious Fashion cam Campaign, and Steve Kenzie. Oh, it's not not working. Okay. I try and speak. Okay, excuse me. And and we're also going to be um, speaking with S Steve Kenzie from the United Nations Global Camp 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 Compact Network. So yeah, let's let's actually begin. So please please welcome them onto the stage. Right. Thank you. Thank thank you for joining us. Um. So yeah. Um. We've actually got a really great video that we probably should actually like kick off with first, Kerry, right? It's probably yeah, that's how to begin. So. Is this working? Hopefully. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just a brief introduction about the SDGs. Okay, let's go. Thank you, thank you. Um, please, can you kindly share the work that both of you do individually and and like together? And yeah, and also also introduce yourself slightly as, slightly as well. Yeah, absolutely. I actually think Steve, you should kick this off because you're going to be able to give the framework to the sustainable development goals that my work is then born from. Okay. And is this working, or are we all using this? Can you? Hear? Okay, mine's working. Hi, uh, so the UN Global Compact is a UN corporate sustainability initiative and it launched in 2000. The essence of it is 10 universal principles drawn from UN treaties in the areas of human rights, labor standards, environment, and anti-corruption. Um, companies join and non-business non organizations. There's currently 10,000 companies globally that are participating. The ask is the CEO has to, make a, has to write a letter to the, to the UN Secretary General and say, I, I'm going to commit to operationalizing these 10 principles in my business. I'm going to report publicly, annually, on the progress we're making to, to doing that. And we're going to support the wider UN development agenda. And at the moment, that is the Sustainable Development Goals. Great. Um, and, and that you know, is a very broad kind of a, a broad agenda that can be summed up as uh, creating the future we want. And the UN went out and basically spoke to hundreds of thousands of stakeholders and arrived at this really uh, broad but, but holistic and really well thought through agenda. And I just, my final word on it would just be that that video was great at, at highlighting the 17 goals, but if you are working in this space, and I, I spoke briefly to Professor Gabriel, um, before we started, so many of you are having to look at the goals. You, you need to go down one layer and, and look at the targets, and there are 169 you know, much more specific ambitions rolled into this, this big agenda, and, and that's really where the rubber hits the road and where the change really happens, so you, you do need to look at that. Right. So. And the framework. Is this working? It is working, yes. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Kerry. I'm the founder of the Conscious Fashion Campaign, which is supported by the United Nations Office for Partnerships. The Conscious Fashion Campaign seeks to unite the fashion industry on a business level, educating and bringing everyone together to commit how they can to the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And as Steve says, once you dig deeper into the 169 targets, there's a lot more framework that right. can be provided to help people grow their business, integrate them, or launch their business. Mm -hmm. We're now finding a lot of companies are coming out and using this as a guidance for where they want to take their business. Brilliant. 
Brilliant, brilliant. Um, what goals um, are, what, what, what goals do you guys want to try and really, really tackle? Because out of the 17, are there a few that you really want to hit the ground running and really tackle really, really fast? Are there any, any ones in, in that particular? That you're on keen record, on we yeah. have to say all 17. Yeah. <laughs> but 17 okay. We're going to do all 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But personally, for me, um, 12 consum um, responsible consumption and production okay. is a big one for me. And because I, I truly believe if we could work with companies, organizations, and even societies to look at what they're doing, whether it's with water, soil, even air, yeah. and really pay attention to the negative impacts that are happening and what can we do to have a positive impact yeah. for people and planet. I think what we would see globally would be phenomenal change. And for me, naturally, I think if you can do responsible production, the yeah. messaging then changes in marketing and media, which then encourages naturally responsible consumption. Great, great, great. Um, obviously, there's a lot that you're both um, uh, involved with. Are there, are there any things that you're like daunted with or anything that you can overcome with positive, positive action? Is it, there's just so many things you're involved, you're involved with, so obviously... Um, it's a massive yes, undertaking, absolutely. so um, it is a bit discouraging that this agenda is meant to be a 15-year yeah. project, and we're getting down a third of the way through, and we're still struggling uh, to even just get a, a... What advice would you give to someone, who, you know, especially who feels, da feels daunted by these, these actual challenges as well? So who, what, what tasks should, should, should they, be, they, they, they be doing personal, sort of personally, really? To help you know, Gandhi, I, I suppose you'll be the change you want to be. So uh, you know, this is something yeah. that uh, the government have committed the country to being carbon neutral by 2050. Right. You've got to think, what, what does that mean? That, that means every company has to be carbon neutral by 2050. Every individual in the country has to be carbon neutral by 2050. What does that mean to you? Are, are you just going to bankroll all sorts of carbon offsets, or are you going to start riding your bike more, eating less meat, um, flying less, rethinking what clothes you buy? These are, these are personal things that, that people need to do. You know, we don't all need to be Greta. I mean, as, as amazing as she is, yeah. um, if everybody just does their bit, it, it, and, and if you inspire others around you by just you know, making a, a commitment and, and living you know, the, the change and not business as usual, yeah. We're going to get there. Yeah, have, have, yeah have I just want to add to that. Actually, the UN has a new bot out with Facebook called Act Now, okay. and it's actually focused on encouraging individual actions and contributions of what you can do. And they break down this very overwhelming framework. I mean, we live and breathe it, and it's still, like you said, it's daunting about yeah, it how is, you're absolutely. going to achieve yeah. that. So, for anybody that's new to it, but also as an individual wonders what they can do, you know, as Steve mentioned, some of the things are about recycling. Cycling, is it you know meatless meals zero waste fashion there's things as individuals you can contribute mm -hmm. the act now bot um, shows you and actually makes you more accountable each day you kind of check this box you go through it you see your impact and what you've done like that the UN also has something called and which I hate the name and we have to push for change this the lazy person's guide to changing the world Hilarious. I think it should just be the person's guide <laughs> um, because it doesn't matter how small the steps are, right? Yeah. It's just all, if this whole room got up and did something this morning together, it would be incredible yeah, I already. I would say, you know, try and do one or two of them, and then especially, yeah. especially factories and mills who, who try to do everything at the same time. No, it's it's not possible. Just be good at what you can do and then own, then own it. Really. Exactly, because so, yeah. otherwise you're setting yourself up to fail. Yeah, yeah. And, and we have this, I mean, I, I encounter this a lot where you know, purists w will, will rail against incremental change. It's not ambitious enough. Um, we need transformation. But, but really, uh, th what's an example of transformational change? I mean, it's really quite a rare yeah. occurrence. And, and I think what you find typically is, is that there's been a whole lot of incremental change that took you up to a point where the transformational change was possible. And, and I, I think this, this idea of tipping points is something we really need to, to keep in mind. We, we, we move towards a point when then we're prepared for the transformation. So I, I think what we need to start doing is running towards those tipping points. Mm. And if everybody is moving that way, we're going we're gonna to get there. Um, you know, and I also just want to add to that. On that point, you, you, you know, we're in a place that we see in the fashion industry of shaming or calling out online. We really need to champion what people are doing because the more we can champion and celebrate the small steps that yeah. businesses are taking, I think it encourages them to actually integrate Absolutely. more. Absolutely. Like there are lots of you know, 
people doing terrible things, but there's many people doing amazing things which should get pushed to the forefront more. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if there's, um, we've got another video that we are going to play, but I think there's one more question that I've got. If, if, all, if the students, you know, if all the students here left, left here today and went out to the industry tomorrow, what would you really hope that they take from today? And even from, you know, what would you hope that they will take away from that today? That's a, and, and, and end question for you guys. I think they're going to learn a lot today. There's yeah. an incredible roster of speakers to follow. And I think the biggest thing being is the value that yourself can have in the industry. People in this room, whether they're in part-time work, full-time, or going on to graduate into incredible mm. places, um, just whether they integrate and show impact at meetings, introduce it to staff, show it to employees, or even just embrace what they can do, as I said, as an individual in society. Brilliant. I think people have really got to realize they have so much value as just a person. Yeah, yeah. Steve, anything to add on that? Yeah, I'm going to pile on with that. I think that, that, that everybody has a, a, has a role to play to contribute. And I think particularly a sector such as this that, that is so important in terms of influencing yeah. opinion. I, I think that if we can get people thinking more sustainably in terms of their, their clothing choices, then the knock-on is you, you start thinking you're a, a person that cares about sustainability. Yeah. And then it impacts on your choice of transport and food and um, and job and um, so I think you know, it could be a real really important lever um, to, to the big changes that we want to see amazing okay I think should we should we go with the, the second video I think there's one more video to play yeah it's just more of a wrap up one more of a reference more of a wrap up but yeah thank you so so much guys pleasure Great. thank you thank you since the SDGs were agreed and the Paris COP 21 agreement enormous commitments have been made. In 2016, the world pledged $13 billion for the Global Fund for HIV AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, and $75 billion for the International Development Association Replenishment. In 2017, a historic agreement was made for the world's oceans, as well as the Family Planning Summit and the Global Nutrition Summit. And in 2018, the Global Partnership for Education announced $112 billion. The goals have also been adopted by a wide variety of partners. The private sector is realizing the opportunity. Sustainable business could unlock more than $12 trillion. Up to 250,000 civil society organizations are working for the goals. And the UN itself is making historic reforms towards a new system, enabling country teams to deliver and report on results in line with national needs and priorities. SDGs every single day is important. In order to leave no one behind, no goal can be left behind. Well, thank you again, Kerry and Steve. Thank you so, so much. Right, so um, let's get the next slide up. So the next guy I would like to in, 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 introduce is someone really important. He's actually the tech tech. He's actually the technology leader for King King for Kingpin Show. His name's uh, Miguel uh, Sanchez. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Thanks, Martin. Thank you. Does it work? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. 